and get some petrol okay thanks to my patrons Robert, thanks to our patrons for helping us out on patreon so we can get out here and put petrol in my car so we can get out and do some adventures for everyone thank you patrons hey Robert, you guys rock we go 85 dollars for that heck Check out that sunset, beautiful. So we're now here at my sister's place. You know, the just over there. Look at that, that looks so nice out there, doesn't it? The GoPro's picking it up quite nicely. What's time now? 10 past six, and look at that, dark hairs. Good morning, bright and early. It's about half past five, and we're just heading up to the Mutu now, my brother-in-law and myself. Um, Pretty dark, a bit of a southerly wind coming at the moment as well. But as you can see, it's pretty dark out there. Early bird gets the worm. You guys see all right? You guys see, we hit the Motu now. Just uh, six o'clock. You guys see all right? This GoPro doesn't shoot very good early in the morning, but here we are at the Motu. You can see the sky there. Here we are. Right, so here we go. Got the brother-in-law with us today, Adrian. Here we are, mighty Motu. Here we are. It's a good day for it. Good day for it. Perfect. Good timing. Get a beautiful day it's going to be today. Perfect start for the morning. What do you guys think? Pretty excited. Right, first cast. Let's see what's out there. Look at that. Perfect spot. Perfect spot. Right there. Yeah, put baits out and I'll set up the old hand line. Put a balloon on it. Oh, 
was a good point. Oh, nice. You want to have our live bait? Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. What does it feel like a snapper, cowboy? Uh, yeah, jump, eh? Nice guy. Is that our live bait? Oh, that's a nice fish. Look at that valley. Snapper. Nice. Nice fish too, bro. Look at that. There you go. Walk backwards here yeah, and I'll grab it for you. There you go. Oh, nice snapper. There you go. Well done, look at that. Hey, hey. Well done, bro. Too much, my brother. Here we have it. The old Mutu snapper. Oh. Nice, nice fish. No, we, we want to come away though for low bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that again. Nice fish. Let's do that again, brother. You doing it on camera? Or yeah, just, are you out of camera? I don't mind. There you go. Mean, bro. Nice fish, but uh, got to get that larvae, brother. Yeah. That's cool. That's a good start. Good start. Me. Mr. Quake Fisherman, he's now a surf caster again. <laughs> no. Nice stepper. That's been in the water for about, what, three minutes? Four yeah. minutes? Okay. Nice nice stepper. 40 centimetres, probably. Alright. Oh, I've had a bait in the water for ages and I have no, nothing on there yet. Oh, yeah. Agents just doing a second cast. I was a bit worried I didn't have uh, that fish on camera, but into the footage here, I had to go for on for like 20 minutes recording, and we got the fish in the last five minutes of that video, so I managed to capture him, video him catching that snapper. So nice. Man. So the brother-in-law is gone now, Adrian's gone, he's got to go to work, it's up at 9 o'clock, so I'm still here, and he's left me his rod, so I'm using two rods, and I've got no fish, I've got nothing at all, not even a bite, incoming tide, not even a bite, he's dead today, a lovely day, so I've got two rods, and I'm going to hang around until probably lunchtime, I had a bite on my rod just then before, I had a bite, but just that one little bite, that was it. Not as much action as we had last time up here, but it's still a very nice day and the day's not over until we finish. Oh, check that water out, that looks beautiful doesn't it? It's like a mirror out there. It's like a mirror. It's just so nice, but there's no fish there. Got some guys just rocked up with some spinners. They've been spinning for a while and we've got nothing. But man, I've got a live bait. You can just chuck it right there. Look, it's just so flat. There's no waves at all. It's a perfect place for put a live bait out. Just gone past 10 o'clock and my patience is getting thin rubber. Alright, so welcome back everybody. Welcome back. We're back home now. It's 4 o'clock. We're home. I went back to my sister's place and we hung out with there for a while, a bit of a chat and stuff and a couple of cups of coffee. And then we come home and I uh, also brought home the snapper that my brother-in-law gave me. So there is our snapper, it's about 43 centimetres. I just uh, 
measured it. So I'll scale it down on the beach there and then I'll cut it now. And take the gills out and I'm going to put it in the fridge. We'll have this tomorrow with something. Not quite sure we're going to have yet. Might even bake the whole fish yet. Or we might just smoke it all up. Head and all. Smoke the whole fish up. Not too sure yet. But there we have it. There's the old tamuri. So what goes around comes around. As you guys know, I got that kingfish. I gave... They ate the rest of the head. And I gave them two big slabs of kingfish. So... That's how you do things, you share the kai and everybody's happy. End of the day, we all enjoy a nice feed of fish. So, thank you, Adrian, for the snapper. Right, so welcome back two days later, and we're going to be smoking up this snapper. I'm going to be smoking this up whole. Now, I did scale it the other day because I was going to cut the fillets off it. Uh, when I smoke it, I'd rather have the scales on because then it doesn't stick to the Weber as much. But uh, we're going to smoke this up whole. I'm going to split open the middle here. We'll salt it up. We're going to keep the head on. I'm going to smoke the head with the body. So I'm just going to cut it open, salt it up. As you guys know, I only use salt and the flavour of the wood chips. In today's wood chips, I'm using the leftovers of the hickory wood chips. And I've also got a couple of pieces of cherry wood. Now, Hickory is my favourite wood chip to use and I find the cherry wood not as good as smoking wood as the hickory Hickory has much more flavour in it There's our snapper here, I've just split it open Just going to add some salt into that Salt in here On the eyeball, in the head so Just going to wait for the charcoals to heat up It'd be another half an hour 20 minutes I just put them on actually I should have put on a bit earlier but I don't want to cook this fish up too soon uh, so but I've got it out there under the lemon tree the charcoals are heating I've got the wood chips into the bucket of water so there's the old fish already salted up I'm going to cover this up put into the fridge out the back wait for charcoals to heat up I think there's a bit of rain coming right now a bit of spit so I have the web under the tree, but I might have to go and move it because it's coming down a bit harder now. Oh, bugger. So, while we're doing this, wait for the charcoals to heat up. I smoked up some fish from our last trip at the Motu with Ad Fishing Reminder. I smoked up some kingfish fillet and some kahawai. So, check this out while waiting for the charcoals to heat up. Check out these awesome looking, tasty taste clips. Okay. Back to you guys soon. That's a nice kingy. Bring her in. Woohoo! Look at that. Look at that, Haitian. Look. Woohoo! Look at that. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Ooh, legend. Here he comes. Another donkey. Yeah. Right, we've got a whole kahawa here. We're going to be smoking that up. We're smoking up here some kingfish fillets as well. We're going to do this today in the Weber Master Touch plus the big Weber. So I'm going to get rid of all that liquid. Try and pat dry these big fillets here. So we're going to be smoking up a couple of those today. And yesterday I gave some to my sister, to my sister and her husband. I gave them the rest of the smoked, smoked kingfish head. And I gave them a couple of good chunks also of some tasty kingfish. So they're going to be enjoying that today. They're going to be smoking it up apparently. So look at what Mark did from Fishing Reminder. He did a really good job on doing these fish. Look, he did the wings here, the backbones there. He also did the... The kahawa that we caught the motu yesterday, see, he did exactly like how I do it. You can leave the wings on there. And it is a beautifully well done fish head from Mark there at Fishing Reminder. See, get the wings attached. Pretty good. What I'm going to do now is just going to cut these fins off. We're going to put them into the freezer for a special fish head Friday video one day coming up soon. 
We've also got half the kingfish head in the freezer as well. Put the cover away here, just keep it toweled it to try and get rid of all the excess moisture in there. So now it's ready to add some salt. So we're just going to add salt. And you guys know I don't add any sugar to my fish. Hickory is a really good wood smoking wood. It's just so good. Really makes it sweet, so you don't need to add any sugar to it. There, it's looking really nice. Our sausages, been hanging out for a feed of these for ages. Smoked sausages. Fish is ready, check that out. That's ready. Backbone's ready, look at that. Ooh, 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 look at that. Who wants to have who wants to have a munch on that? Look at that. Tasty as some sausages there, some squeezing fish. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah boy. Hickory smoked kahoi. Here it is. Here are backbones here. smoking a whole snapper under the lemon tree in the rain. Keep a bird up there.
I don't normally use tuna foil, but I am today because I've scaled this fish. So I don't want to stick to the to the grill. So I have exposed the head to the grill. You don't mind the head getting cooked. So there we go. Here's our the whole tamuri snapper. Yep. A bit of cherry wood. Right, so I'm going to have the fish eyes for tea tonight. A bit of a taste test. I shall be eating those tonight, as you guys would expect. Lovely at tamuri heads. I think we might move this barbecue inside. Whoa, yeah. Right, a gale now. Pretty extreme. Oh, that's not so right. Let's add some more wood chips in there quick. It's pretty gnarly. You can hear the rain dropping on the, on the fish. Oh. Right, this close. Let's move this inside. Into the shed. Finished at six o'clock now, it's pitch black. I'm gonna add some more wood chips to it. Uh, it is not looking too bad, the head's looking okay. Pie's ready, it's been like it's been two and a half hours in there, we're gonna get it out now. Two and a half hours, it's nearly half past seven, and we're getting hungry. So I think we'll be cooked. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna get that out. Ooh, check out that fish head. Okay. Here we go. Smoked snapper. Whole smoked snapper for you guys. And check that out. There's a beautiful tamuri head. I'm gonna be eating this head tonight. For my tea, Erin's probably gonna be going into this fillet. And I'll say she probably also be going to this bone here, the backbone here, be full of lovely, juicy, sweet goodness in there. That's like two and a half hours smoking very slowly in the weather because of that crazy weather we had out there. Here we go. It's, going to be it's probably smoked quite nice. The longer you smoke it, the better. So normally in the weather, I'll probably smoke it for probably. And then 40 minutes, a bit longer. That's a good smoke. So this has been maybe two and a half hours. So that'll be a very, very sweet, exactly what you want to have. So here we go. We're going to take this head off here. It should come off quite easily. Just break that off here. Ooh, here we have it. Oh man, that's so juicy. That is so juicy. Check that out. Sunday snapper night. Smoked Sunday snapper. Here we go. Let's have a taste test of that. The old smoked snapper. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Here we go. Right. Teaspoon. So I'm just going to do a quick taste test with these eyeballs. Because I'm going to have some coal. I'm going to add some coleslaw to that. Oh shit, see that? Put it back in slow motion. There we go. Mmm. 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 Yum. Mm, so nice. That's very sweet. Is that actually cooked? Is that actually cooked? I don't think my head's cooked properly. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's cooked. It's a bit more, a bit more smoke in my head here. Oh man, bad taste test. That rain has ruined my smoking head, so I'm gonna have to put that back on the Weber. Oh, no good. Oh man, might be video over. Aaron, my head needs more cooking. It looks nice and cute, doesn't it? Get the little bulb full. That's cooked, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, it sure is. Some Japanese. 